Hi everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Najwa. Today, I am here to help you review for your exam. In this video, we will talk about two different topics, my school and my house. Before we start, remember that your exam has three parts. Part one is the reading comprehension. Part two is the language. We will focus on some important grammar points. And part three is the writing. I will help you practice writing in English. Now, you are going to watch and listen to Yusuf talking about his school. After that, we will do some practice. Listen and watch. Hi, my name is Yusuf. I am a pupil in a primary school. My school is nice and big. There are 21 classrooms, 60 teachers, and lots of pupils. In my school, there are two playgrounds. There is a small playground where I practice sport and a large playground where I meet my friends and greet the flag every morning. I like to go to school. I really feel so happy here. In my school, all the teachers are friendly and helpful, and the headmistress is kind too. Welcome back. What about you? Do you like your school too? Good. Now let's check together what Yusuf said about his school. Do you remember how many classrooms are there in his school? Yes, there are 21 classrooms. And how many teachers are there? Yes, there are 60 teachers. And how many pupils are there? Great, there are lots of pupils. Now, let's focus on how to use how many in questions. You know, we use how many are there to ask about number of things we can count. Example, how many books are there in your school bag? There are four books. And how many pens are there on your desk? There are three pens, okay? Now, look at the screen and let's practice the structure. Be careful. Look and listen. How many desks are there in your classroom? There are 15 desks. How many windows are there? There are four windows. How many chairs are there? There are 30 chairs. And how many doors are there? There is one door. How many flags are there in the playground? There is one flag. After how many in question? The noun and the verb are always plural. How many desks are there? How many chairs are there? How many windows are there? How many doors are there? How many flags are there in the playground? Now, have a look at the answers. How many desks are there in your classroom? There are 15 desks. How many windows are there? There are four windows. There are 30 chairs. When the answer is plural, we use there are plus plural noun. Let's continue. How many doors are there? There is one door. How many flags are there in the playground? There is one flag. We note, when the answer is singular, we use there is plus singular noun. Let's sum up now. After how many in questions, the noun and the verb are always plural. When the answer is singular, we use there is plus singular noun. And when the answer is plural, We use there are plus plural noun. Is it clear? I hope so. Now, let's move to the writing. You are going to write a postcard to your English friend to tell him about your school. Keep in mind these important points while writing a postcard. First, The starting and ending words we use in postcards and emails, 
such as hi, dear, how are you, goodbye, right soon, love, and so on. Second, the punctuation and capitals. Write capitals letters when you start a new sentence and the full stop at the end of the sentence. Third, keep in mind these questions to help you write an interesting text. Watch and listen. That's right, kids. When you read, when you write, there are six questions to keep in mind. Let's see together the six questions and what they mean. Look at the screen. As question words, we use who to ask about a person. Who is writing this postcard? It's you. What is to ask about things and objects? What's the postcard about? Your school. Where? Is to ask about place. So where is your school? In Tunis, in Beja, in Sous, or in Gafsa? When? Is about time or date? Let's say today. How? Is for description. How is your school? Big or small? Nice, clean, old or new? Why? Is to give your opinion. So you say, why do you like your school? Because my teachers are nice, they are friendly, I learn a lot of things, I can make many friends at school, or maybe you don't like your school. So you say, my school is far away from my house, I have to get up early every day, or I have lots of homework. This is an example of a postcard. Read it. You can. Imitate this text or add more details about your school. Don't forget to write a paragraph of six lines and don't make spelling mistakes. That's all for now. See you later. In the second part, you will describe your house and the parts of your house. What's there in your house? How many rooms are there? What are the rooms for? After that, you will practice writing. This time, you will write an email of six lines to describe your house. You know what's an email? It's a message sent from one computer to another computer through internet. Now, look at the screen and listen carefully. Hi, this is my house. It's nice and big. Look at the green garden around my house. It's beautiful. I like to play there on the grass with my dog. We don't have a garage, but the garden is big. My parents usually park their car there behind the trees. Hi, welcome to my house. Let's go inside and look around. This is the living room. It's where my family meets to talk and watch movies on TV. This is the dining room. It's small, but we have everything we need. We eat there when my grandparents come for dinner. In my house, there are two bedrooms. My bedroom is near the kitchen. This is the bathroom. It's between the two bedrooms. I wash my face have a shower and brush my teeth in the bathroom. This is the kitchen. It's my favorite place in the house. My mom makes tasty meals there and my dad too. He usually prepares breakfast in the morning and sandwiches on Sundays. Now let's go into the rooms and try to review the names of the furniture we have in each room. This is the living room. 
there is a beautiful green sofa, a coffee table, a TV set, and two windows. There is a picture between the two windows. We note, after there is, the noun is singular. There is a beautiful green sofa. There is a picture. This is the dining room. There are four chairs around the dining table. In this sentence, you can see that after there are, the noun is plural. This is my bedroom. There's a window on the right. There's a bed between the desk and the bedside table. On the desk, there's a computer. We note, after there is, the noun is singular. There is a window. There is a bed. This is the kitchen. In the kitchen, there is a cooker, a fridge, a table, and four chairs. We note, after there is, the noun is singular. We can change the sentence and say, in the kitchen, there are four chairs around the table, a cooker, and a fridge. And here we note, after there are, the noun is plural. Is it clear? Let's sum up. After there is, we use a singular noun. After there are, we use a plural noun. Now, let's start the writing. You are going to write an email of six lines to your friend to tell him about your home. Pay attention to the spelling mistakes. And keep in mind what we said about writing a postcard. Remember, the starting and ending words, the punctuation marks and capital letters, the six questions, who, what, when, where, how, and why. This question will help you write your email. Let's see together who is writing this email. It's you. What's the email about? Your house and its rooms. When do you write this email? Today. Where is your house? In the city center, near the park, next to the post office. How is your house? Big, small, new or old? Why do you like a house? Because it's beautiful, it's nice, comfortable. Why do you dislike it? Maybe it's a small, it's old, it hasn't got a garden. This is an email as example. Read it. You can imitate the text or add more details. Hope you find these tips helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.